dodge that stress out like it was shampoo. You should stay. It can change. There's good days, not bad days. But one day down the line, this time is sure to stop. So the only time is now. Did you go to bed last night? I don't know, about three o'clock. It was school night. Morning. Hi, Mum. <laughs> night. So what did you get up to, dare I ask? Write a love poem for your special Valentine. I was trying to write a tune for my website. It wasn't happening, though. Well, maybe I could help. <sighs> yeah, I'm for it. I do play 17 different instruments and wrote my first concerto at four. <laughs> what do you want? Your own TV show? Oh, come on, just play me the blinking tune. Have you washed your ears this morning? Always. <laughs> All right. Hey, mm, this is interesting. Nice ostinato. Oh, I love what you've done with the dominant fifth. But you're right, this is definitely missing something. No, no, you're missing something, mate. A bit of ooh, boom, boom, boom. A bit of ding-a-lang-dang. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Trying to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers for the lift, yeah? Hold on, Josh, wait. Yoo-hoo! Got your Valentine's card. <laughs> Aya! No, I didn't, okay. Didn't you know? Get me keeping Valentine's card, stop going on about it, yeah. The only reason Shelby Turner got free because that stupid photo of her in Manchester Airport with Kimberly Walsh. That's like totally cheating. She probably didn't even go to Portugal anyway. Who did this? Who's Brady some mini school that they thought, I know what Molly would like? A bit of strawberry flavoured soap and a teddy bear with a t-shirt on saying give me a hug. Who was it? Hey. <laughs> Yo, wooden sock. What's up? Oh, uh, nothing. Not just a couple of things. Definitely some stuff. Guess what I've got? Uh, dirty nappy. Hilarious. Hairs on the palm of your hands. Wrong and wrong. I have got a bra in my pocket. Shut up. Found it in my chiller case. Someone must have put it in there on the bus. Yeah, or it's just your mum's. Or your dad's. Oh, yeah? Then why has it come with this? Dear Ryan, I think you're gorgeous. Meet me at the Valentine's Ball and let me snog your luscious lips. Oh, right. This is another one of your wind-ups, yeah? Me? No. It's not even my handwriting. And anyway, we made a solemn vow not to wind each other up this year. And since when have you ever stuck to a promise? Oh. Ryan, I swear on my grandmother's grave, I did not write that letter. Cool. I've got a secret admirer. Where are you going? Check my hair. Yes. The Ashmaster strikes again. I can't believe you swallowed it. I can't believe you just swore on your grandmother's grave that you didn't write that letter. I didn't write it. I got the Rickster to do it. So, what was it? Three bananas? Ten pounds. Five bananas? No, ten pounds. You're a hard man to please. <sighs> Bye, my love. Hey, Mel. Oh, that's horrible. Sorry. I'm trying to find a band for the Valentine's Ball tomorrow night. I thought you had one booked. I did. Apparently they got big in Norway and they're doing a tour of the fjords instead. Well, there must be loads of bands out there. But there are. They're just not very good. Morning. Oh, ow! 
Everything all right, Dennis? Yeah, I was just giving Miss Poppy a hand finding a replacement band. Oh, dear. I'm wondering if it's all a little bit too much, you organising this ball on your own. I'll have a word with the school council. No, I, I can do it. I'll, I'll find a band. No, really. I'm sure they'd only be too glad to help. Charlotte. Hey, how you doing? Just wondering if the words luscious lips meant anything to you. What? Uh, Misha, might as well just come straight out and say it. Did you leave your bra in my cello case? Seriously? Oh, I'll take that as a no then. Great. How's it going? Yeah, really well. So far I've managed to eliminate over 50 girls from my inquiries, which means... You're not very good with the ladies. No, which means I'm 50 girls closer to finding out who wrote that letter. Yeah. It wasn't you, was it, Ash? No, no. Final answer? Final answer. Thank you. So, the Valentine's Ball. Mr Bell said you were struggling, miss? Not struggling. No, um, it's fine, really. Don't worry, miss. Here's a risk assessment, security plan, emergency evacuation procedure. Good. Uh, well, this all looks very impressive, but I don't think we need to get too hit up with the health and safety implications. Were you at the Valentine's Ball last year? The music was above recommended levels. There were people kissing in the fire lanes. Well, you can't stop people kissing. Can you? Don't judge! I wasn't interrupting, was I? Josh, wait. I've got something to show you. That's my tune. How'd you get my tune? You left your MP3 player. Oh, and did I also leave a little note saying, hey, Dexter, feel free to take my MP3 player and tamper with my music without my permission? Well, I was only trying to help. Sorry. Those keyboards. They were pretty cool. How did you do them? Oh my days, what is this horrible feeling? So frightening, disturbing, unappealing. It's a nightmare, entirely messed up. I, I think I admire Dexter. Those sounds he was tapping, that was kind of sick, man. How has this happened? And I never saw it coming, but everything changed in a moment of drumming. He was always geeky, annoying, and uncool. Now, with well, his geeky, annoying, and uncool. But to bring it into balance, I can't deny, man, the guy's got talent. Who'd have thought that in one of the stupidest teachers, deep down there was a musical genius? I know that me and him were never too tight, but I'll be honest, I'm seeing him in a new light. Now I know it shouldn't happen. Back to back, me playing him rapping. Feels so wrong, yeah, it feels so right. And I'm seeing you in a new light. You can call me crazy, but I'm looking at Josh in a different way lately. Most big names he gives are derogative Big ego, big mouth, not a lip Cheating, scheming, impetuous Cheeky, sneaky and rebellious Doesn't give half the care that he should give But deep, deep down he's a good kid And he has a natural talent For which he does show an actual passion I know that me and him were never too tight But I'll be honest, I'm seeing him in a new light Now I know it shouldn't happen Back to back, me playing him rapping it Feels so wrong, yeah, it feels so right And I'm seeing you in a new light Now I know this shouldn't happen Back to back, me playing him rapping it Feels so wrong, yeah, it feels so right And I'm seeing you in a new light <sighs> Wow, that was pretty cool Yeah well, What are you doing after school? We can ask to borrow some instruments, take them home yeah, although I got a lot of marking to do and detention, of course. Can you not just cancel that or something? I don't think Mr. Bell would approve. I left my bag in here. Yeah, well, um, I, I best be getting off. Anyway, I'll see you later. Ah, oh, get oh. Yo, Josh. Where were you all lunch? Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, just stuff, man, just stuff. stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, what's, what's Ryan doing, hmm? 
You checking all the books to see if the handwriting matches that letter? Ash, a little job for you. Can you hand these out around the class? Do I look like Postman Pack? What is this? New rules for the Valentine's Ball. Just make sure everyone gets one. Uh, no, Liz. Hey, Chloe. Shove off, cello dweeb. Right, thanks. Which leaves only... Natalie. Walk on the left, Ryan. Sorry. Yeah. Good luck with that one, mate. Hey, Dex. Sorry. Can't stop, Josh. I need to get to four o'clock club. What, you mean you haven't heard? Are you sure it's not a single person's attention? Yeah, it's like some kind of school record. Maybe I should check with Mr. Bell. No, 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 no. Look, put me on cue, manager. I mean, why ask him? Well, I phone up and I say I want things done, I get things done. Come on. I'm the headmaster of the school! All right, let's go. Oh, okay, Josh, what's your hurry? What? No, <laughs> I'm just keen to get home, man. You know, start jamming and stuff. <laughs> Four o'clock club cancelled. Love, Mr. Harry. Oh, gross. So, we can all go home? Yeah. Or we could play Chase the Ch Hello? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> oh, no, that's super. Yeah, 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 I'll let you know. Mel, I've just got you a band. What? And not just any band. Oh. I have just been on the phone to Soft Focus. They had a big hit in 83. Love is a dangerous thing. It makes a grown man cry and a crocodile sing. Do you want to carry on? If you think that's going to help. Well, anyway, the saxophonist is a pretty good personal friend of mine. And the long and short of it is, they are available tomorrow night. Shall I tell them to be here at seven? Um, thanks. If I still haven't managed to book a band by tomorrow morning, I will give them a call. I see. I just hope that they're not booked up by then. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Why are you not in detention? Mr Harris left us a note saying detention was cancelled. He did what? I asked him if I could borrow that lot for help with decorations. Inside. Well done, Agnes. Oh, Molly. It's my black heart, mate. No, lower. No, higher. Ryan, it's important that we get this right. Is it? Of course it is. Valentine's Ball's the highlight of the school year. Did you get my letter? Your letter? The one about kissing and so on? That was you. Who else would it have been? But well, I don't know. I just didn't realise you felt so strongly. Well, I do. And I'd hope that you feel the same. Yeah. Yeah, I do. So, <laughs> nerdy Natalie, eh? Well, maybe not so nerdy after all. <laughs> How are you so sure it's her? She told me. She just straight out owned up. What? She can't have. Ready? Yeah, sure. We're just going to grab some coffee. See you later. thinks Natalie wrote it, the Muppet. Nice one. So, can I come in? Uh, uh, no, I'm having a quiet night in with my mum. Yo, easy on the drum and bass, mum. It's not your mum in there, is it? No. It's your girlfriend. Girlfriend? 
I'm not stupid, Josh. That's why I've been sneaking off for all the lunch times. You've got a girlfriend, haven't you? Yeah. So, can I meet you? Ash. Well, it's Andrus, isn't it? Andrus is your girlfriend. It is not. Of course no, it is. No, it is not. No, no. Bye. Who was that? Oh, uh, just Ash. Oh, you should invite him in, play him what we've done. Yeah, why not? I guess I'm just a bit embarrassed, yeah. Embarrassed? You've got nothing to be embarrassed about. These songs are great. <laughs> they deserve an audience. No, I didn't. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. How's coffee with Natalie? Yeah, really good. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Nat. Do you want to walk to our lockers together? Yeah, sure. Uh, Ryan? Just a minute. Look, I know she's not my type, but you should have seen what she put in that letter. She didn't write the letter, you nana. Look, I understand that you might feel jealous. Have you a nerdy Natalie? Well, at least I'll be getting a snog tonight. But you won't, Ryan. Ten pounds says I will. All right. Done. You have been. Who's that? Come on, Natalie. Hey, Ricky. Do you, uh, you fancy walking to our lockers together? Hey, Rachel. Hey, Josh. Thanks for the cards. I'm sorry about Dexter. No worries. So, uh, I guess I'll see you at the ball tonight. Yeah. Come on, then. Who is she? Who? Your girlfriend? Oh, uh, she's not my girlfriend. I don't have one. Oh my gosh, Panther totally and Badge got you fibby later. Ash already told us that you went to your house and you were like, no, you can't come in because I'm with my girlfriend, so dish. What's her problem? Is that your girlfriend? She's not anymore, is she? Thanks. Why weren't you in detention last night? There was no detention last. Josh. I had to lie to Mr. Bell for you. Sorry. But I think it might have just been worth it. Ta-da! What's that? What's what? Oh, this is the answer to all your problems. Hey, Rachel. Rachel. She don't want to talk to you, creep. Look, I don't have a girlfriend, yeah? So how come all your friends think you do? <sighs> you want to know the truth, then fine. I wasn't chilling with a girl I... I was jamming with Mr. Harris. You're in a pan with a teacher. Hey, is Andres on the drums? No. Is Ding Dong on the triangle? No. Hey, you should play assembly. Look, we're not a band, yeah? Hey, partner, how you diddly doing? <laughs> Josh, wait, guess what? I got us a gig. What? And we won't even have to travel. It's here at school tonight. Are you crazy? I know it's a little bit soon, but there's no need to be embarrassed of your songs. They're great. It's not the songs I'm embarrassed about. Oh, OK, I get it. Dexter isn't cool enough. You should have said it. It's not as if I haven't heard it before. Josh is not the first. There are 30 or more. And it's always been the same. Have some fun and games. Get to know each other's names. Things are going well till I tell that I fish with a little net in a rock pool. Suddenly, I'm not cool. Is it my fault? I'm well spoken and passionate about preventing fossil erosion. Oh, when I guess I'm not the man if I've got 172 scout badges. It doesn't matter what I do as an adult. I can see the world using first class travel. Be a millionaire, have a mansion with a pool. But in my heart, I know I'll never be. I shouldn't feel bad. It isn't my fault. I'm not the king of cool. I didn't invent the rules. But maybe you could call me the prince. Got the swag I was born with. I guess I've just been cool ever since. Don't hang with geeks. There's a risk of infection. Okay, I know. Ryan is an exception. But I guess I mean nerdy grown up specifically. Bad enough, I got an actual teacher who lives with me. I learned the rules, and that's why I know the basics. You can kill your cool simply by association. Think it's rule one. You best know this. Cool kids and Teachers just don't mix. There are another species who'll never be the greatest. Not natural, they're genetically mutated. Speech in the dress sense, always regrettable. The BO alone means I'll never be. Of course, time was different. I thought I found a big mate who didn't mind that I like hops are causing Kendall Ring 
But I guess I'll be forever the fool He knows and I know that I will never be I thought this might be different The dreams he made were sick But he's a nitwell lover Don't wanna take a mix Just being honest Me and Dexter play into the school There's no chance that we could ever be cool What do you mean they're not coming? I thought they were friends of yours well, I can't make them come, can I? Yes, you can! I just had to tell Ding Dong I wasn't going to book his favourite band. I have covered up for you so many times. I have lied for you. I've risked my job for you. You're going to make them come. Do you understand? Is it me or is it a little bit smoky in there? No. Josh, please, I'm begging you. No. All right, fine. Do the gig on my own. <laughs> what, without me, yeah? Yeah, why not? I've got this new song I've been working on called Josh. Do you want to hear it? No. Hey, Josh, you think you're so clever and cool where you won't be cool when they're singing this in school? Hey, Josh, you're going to be so embarrassed when I tell them how you jammed with Mr Harris. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Yes. On one condition. So this is nice. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Maybe we should uh, hit the dance floor. Yeah, you know, get the mosh pit started. I meant Natalie. Oh. Oh, sorry. Is he always this stupid? Who Ash? Yeah. All right, I'm going. But you're the stupid one if you think you're gonna get a snog off her. Ash, what's he on about? Oh, ignore him. He's just jealous. He'd have loved to have got that letter off you. What? The one about the kissing? Yeah. Well, he did. I gave one to everyone. What? It's the same rules for everyone, Ryan. No kissing in the fire lanes, or anywhere else, ideally. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. The letter you left with your bra in my cello case. What? You didn't leave this letter? No. What about this? No, I didn't. Oh, right. So there's no chance of a snob then? Ryan! I'll go on. See, I've got this bet with Ash. Forget it. So where are they? You and Josh, you're the band. For one night only? Oh, don't worry, that suits me fine. Apparently, I'm too embarrassing for Josh to be seen with live on stage, so I'm going to play on the keyboard in the back room. Hey, I have an idea. How about I just lift up all the heavy stuff? Oh, shut up! You're still OK to play, right? Yeah. I did try to warn you, Abe. Thanks. But wait. If he's not Natalie, that means my secret admirer is still out there somewhere. Brian. I wrote the letter you need. Oh, brother. Ricky did. <laughs> oh, great, yeah. It's all off at Ryan. <laughs> this is so typical. You are so selfish. I'm doing you a favour here. Oh, yeah, but hide me away like the elephant oh, man. Whoever. OK, break it up. It's time you're on. Last time, Josh. Live music. He's young, he's fresh, he's super cool. Give it up for the amazing Jay Hyphen! <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure it was necessary to evacuate the entire school. Rules are rules, I'm afraid, Miss Poppy. Hit about the music thing, though. I thought that was going rather well. Really? Yeah. It's wonderful to see one of our more challenged pupils doing something more positive. Just a pity Mr. Harris chose to ruin it. Whatever we think of Dexter's contribution, he is still currently a teacher at this school. So you saying he won't be for much longer? Look, it, it wasn't his fault. What are you on about caught a hyphen thingy thing? He totally just ruined your music. No, he didn't. Like, he was the one who was playing the music. I was waving. You mean all that fancy stuff was him? Yes. Wow. Get you, Mr. Harris. Pretty cool. Thank you. And um, as for you, Josh, I'm disappointed. I never thought you'd be a fake. All right, everyone. Back inside. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And maybe it'd be better if you were to join me on stage next time. What do you mean, next time? Yo, fish face! Bulb features. Spam trap. Pan flap. Nicker brain. Bomb skull. Guff sniffer. Snot licker. Dandruff flicker. Armpit whiffer. Smelly slipper. Toenail clipper. Wee wee dripper. Oh, yes. You are so annoying. And you owe me a tenner. You're joking. A bet's a bet, Ryan. Mwah. Giggity. So it's true then. You are an Obama, Mr. Harris. Oh, well, it's more a uh, loose arrangement that we had. Well, I guess I better go. Yeah, uh, unless you want to go and grab a burger or something. Yeah. <sighs> All packed and ready to go. Actually, um, we were just going to go grab a burger, so. Uh... Oh, great. Where are we going? I might, uh... Yeah. Buckle me. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm having a triple bacon burger with cheese, and you're paying. I think someone likes Shut you. Shut up. Sorry. Let me, it's the